In this video, I show you how I take this rock that I know has gold in it and turn it from mostly rock to almost all gold and a specimen worthy of collecting and display. In this next photo, this is an x-ray showing where the gold is in the rock. And so what I do is I examine the rock after I x-ray it and I try and determine the best way to remove the quartz to expose the gold. And here on the back side, you can see that the quartz is quite thick and there's a little bit of gold sticking up the side. And on this front side, of course, there's a bit more gold showing. So now let's get started. This is the next one I'm going to water gun. Using the water gun takes about five minutes, so I sped this part of it up, but I'm going to slow the next part down because you're going to see the gold really get revealed. That's amazing. Holy shit. Insanely good. What I'm doing here is I use a little continuity tester to test and make sure all the gold is connected and then it allows me to decide what method I want to use next and I can see that the gold is completely connected all the way around and the next step of the process was using a type of acid to remove some of the rock and I didn't film that part of it but what I did here is I filmed when I took it out of some boiling water that I used to melt the wax off that I protect the quartz with and I was just amazed when I saw this that is freaking ridiculous. I decided I wanted to take just a little bit more of the quartz off the back side of it. So what I'm doing here is showing you that I melt some wax. I check the temperature so that it solidifies fairly quickly on my fingers so that I can dip the gold in it, protect the areas that I don't want to get affected by the acid that I'm going to use and so that's this process. Here you see I have the wax protected piece of gold in a little Ziploc bag and I've added the acid. I know some of you are going to guess and say what the name of the acid is. I never do simply because this stuff is lethal. You need to use proper ventilation, proper safety gear and it is dangerous AF. I won't swear but you can see here that little bubbles if you look closely are coming up and that is the acid going to work on the quartz and other rock that are still attached to the gold. Here I'm adding water to the acid to dilute it. I will rinse the piece of gold off and then I will do the final step of water gunning. You'll see that when I do the water gunning on this specimen, there's a small little branch of gold that was quite loose. It was only attached by a small thread and it does break off. So I wind up having two specimens, but sometimes it's unavoidable to have that happen.
The final step here is I have a one and a half inch square clear acrylic base. I use UV curing glue. It's very instantaneous. It's very strong. It's clear so it looks good on the clear acry acrylic base. And this really is the final step to getting a really nice collectible display item for anyone that wants to get into the wonderful world of gold collecting. I'm very pleased with the results. Thanks for joining me on this journey.